Hello everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by webzidtuts.com. This is video 2 in the VB.net programming series, and in this video we're just going to go ahead and give you an overview about uh, Visual Studio, uh, we're going to go over the interface of it, um, some of the menus that we have in it, and that's basically all we're going to do in this video. We probably won't do any programming at all because we're just going to go over how to use the interface, getting used to the program, and that's basically it. So if you haven't already downloaded Visual Studio or any of the uh, Visual like Basic and Visual C Sharp like Express editions, you can go ahead and download those. Um, they're free. Let me go ahead and open my web browser up. Let me get this to fit in the screen. And all right, here we go. Um, if you want to download something like this, you won't be able to download this one. This one you have to pay for, but I got it free through uh, the school that I went to. So what we're going to do is look up the Visual Basic Express Editions. That's the free kind. It gave, gives you basically some of the same functionality as this one, the Visual Studio Ultimate. Although Visual Studio Ultimate has C Sharp, Visual Basic, Visual C++, it has all of that combined into this big application right here. And it has a lot more features that you can use to develop applications, any kind of software, all of that kind of stuff right there. So we're going to look up Visual Basic Express, and we'll download this 2010 one. This is the newest one. Um, let's go ahead and I believe you go down here to Visual Basic Express and you can install now. I am not used to this kind of website. They had a different one back then. Um, I guess you can install now and then yeah it'll download it for you and this is just the web installer right here. This is actually not the full program but what it's going to do is download the rest of Visual, Space, Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition and then it's just going to install and get everything set up and then once it's installed you can use it uh, for free. I think you might have to register it to reg uh, use it for more than 30 days but it's it's completely free to use. But that is basically it to install it. That's all you have to do. Make sure you download the Visual Basic Test Express edition. Uh, don't get like Visual C Sharp or Web Developer. Don't get those. Those are for different programming languages. Like this one's for C Sharp. This one's for C++. There are different programming languages which we won't go over in this series because this is a VB.NET programming one. And that's basically it. But once you have that, all that downloaded, you'll be able to run the program and even though you won't have Visual Studio 2010, like I said, it's the same exact thing basically. Uh, some of your menus might look a lot different. I think the interface is pretty much the same though in Visual Basic Express Edition. It's all this blue stuff with the like gold looking uh, headings, I guess you'd call them. And I did not want to do that. Ah, screw it. Um, so basically that's it and now let's go over, uh, let me reopen this so I can get that menu back. Alright, and so this is the interface of Visual Studio 2010 Exp uh, Ultimate actually, not the Express Edition, but it basically should look about the same. Um, so let's say we just open this up and we have no idea what's going on. Well the first things first is that you're greeted by this screen right here the Visual Basic or Visual Studio 2010 screen unless you're using Visual Basic uh, Express Edition then it will say Visual Basic Express Edition and you have a few options right here you can connect to a team foundation server a new project or open project a uh, new project will obviously open a new project for you a uh, fresh blank document that you can start uh, coding in and creating your applications Open projects opens projects that you've worked on and saved and want to view later, just like any program basically. <coughs> Excuse me. And down here you'll see your recent projects, uh, projects that you've been working on and opening and opened recently. They'll be displayed right here. And then you'll have a few little panels you can go through right here. Some looks like little tutorial looking things right here. 
they're not as good as web test tutorials, so I won't recommend going to those. Um, there's some more little news things right here. You can enable RSS feed. I guess that's from Microsoft to get some updates on their latest news, apparently. And this looks uh, looks like some more tutorials. Yeah, it looks like some more tutorials. I guess from the MSDN uh, resource resources. And that's basically the welcome screen. You can turn the welcome screen off right here. Show up on startup if you have that deselected. Then it won't come up anymore when you open this application. And this closes the page after project load. So it'll close this page instead of keeping it up because it'll be in tabs right here with your projects. And like on the file menu, as in like every pro uh, every program ever, you have new for new projects, and you can make a website. You have a new team project, or you can just create one new file. Um, and the open menu, you open a project, a website, team project, file, basically the same as this, except opening. Close will close your current page. Um, have close solution when we have a program open. Save, save selected items. Save all will save all of your files because they'll be in tabs right here, and then it'll just save them all without you having to go into each tab and hit Control S or hitting Save on every one of them. Uh, here's some recent files right here. Your recent files that you've been opening and working on, and then here's your recent projects and solutions that you've been. That the whole projects that you can be working on, and then exit while you obviously close the program. So Alt F4 right there. And then some edit. In the edit menu, you can undo the coding or undo putting a button with your form. Uh, you can find stuff. If you're going through the code, you can find words, specific words, using this command. Uh, you can bookmark some stuff. And then here's some more window or uh, some windows you can open. For instance, the toolbar. The toolbar is right here on the left. It might be like that. I'm not really sure because I've configured my Visual Studio different. But what you want to do if is if it's like this, you want to go ahead and click on it and hit this little auto hide thing, so where it's pointing down. It's like a thumbtack, pointing down instead of pointing left, because we're going to be using the toolbox throughout this entire series a lot. Uh, don't worry about Server Explorer. We'll probably won't get to that for a long time. Um, output is what's going to display some things for you to know if uh, when you compile your project and compile the program, it'll have all your things down here to say like if it's been a successful compile or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or if you do some console projects, some of your console things will come down here, I believe, if you have a Windows form. Solution Explorer will display all the files that are in the project um, when you have a project open. It doesn't display anything now because you don't have a project open. And these two right here, Team Explorer and Class View, you don't have to worry about right now. These are the three main ones you need open. Well, you don't really need output at all. You can exit that out. But once you start um, compiling it, it'll automatically appear, so you really can't do anything with it because it'll just come back once you compile your program. Um, you don't have to worry about this, you don't have to worry about that. Um, you don't have to worry about this. Um, you don't have to worry... Um, you can customize some of your options right here. Actually, this one right here, the options bar. And what you can do in here is when you start coding, you can go to your text editor and go to general and you actually turn your code lines on. Uh, through all languages or line numbers. We'll be doing this in the next video when we'll probably start uh, making a new project and learn how to make a new project and what we can start doing with it. But for now I'm just showing where everything is basically. So you can have an idea of where I'm going to be going to so you don't have, like so you aren't stuck trying to find a menu in the next videos. Um, uh, when we run a project, we'll hit. We'll use the debug option, which nothing's highlighted right now. But uh, oh, excuse me. But a lot more of these menus will be open once we get into the project and actually start creating it and coding it and all of that. 
Um, that is basically the that is basically the interface of Microsoft Visual Studio. We'll be going over more as we go along, but this is just to show you a few of the panels, a few of the menus, and to explain how to install and download Visual Basic Express Edition. So in the next video, we'll probably start making a new project. We'll probably make a new project every time I teach you something different. Um, all right, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Learned a little bit more about the interface of Visual Studio and downloading it, installing it to your computer. It's free to be able to use. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go ahead and register as a member on our site at webvidtuts.com. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.